It turns out Presley actually hates Roblox Adopt Me and he decided to quit. So today I'll be going over why Presley decided to quit playing Roblox Adopt Me. Welcome back to Roblox Future, let's get into the video. Website crashes. Roblox users are very well aware of this prevailing issue with the platform. Not surprisingly, the developers are still sidelining this major problem and are on the verge of potentially losing a lot of users. One of these seems to be like Presley. As of the current year, Roblox has crossed 160 million users and it is easily deduced how Roblox is having a tough time managing all of them. The Roblox YouTube community is the most loved group of people because of the variety of content they have to offer, but Roblox has disappointed a bunch of them which has resulted in this unfortunate decision. Presley was often found complaining about website traffic and full servers on his videos before he began them. He stated how at every time of the day, Adopt Me servers were filled to the brim with no space for him to enter and record videos. Even if he was successful in landing a spot, Roblox crashed and his unsafe progress was lost. For an individual who works as a full-time Roblox YouTuber, such losses are unmatched and irrecoverable. There is a good possibility Presley came across a moment during the game that could have increased his viewership, but since he lost the data, he lost potential viewers too. With issues at such at hand and the foreseeable future, Presley deemed fit to just quit the platform once and for all instead of feeling dejected later. Scammers while Presley is a notable name on the Roblox UT community with over 468,000 followers, even he couldn't be spared by scammers on Adami. When we said Roblox is having a hard time tackling hundreds of millions of users, we were absolutely right because they are massively failing at handling this great situation as well. Robux and pet scams are widespread on Adami. No one has found a solution to it, and everyone recommends staying vigilant when this is not exactly how the imposters can be caught. Sadly, the number of scammers is increasing day by day, and even Presley was caught victim of it. This unbecoming situation is distressing given how players spend hours running a few Robux, invaluable pets, and lose them after falling prey to a trivial scam. Issues like these only steer users away from the game only to never return, and it obviously seems like a rational decision for Presley as well because no one is paying heed to this deplorable situation. Let's say this is dancing, but guys, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go into dress up and name him Sid. Sid from Ice Age, and this is our first competition. Presley has created an aura of its own on YouTube, his energy and level of enthusiasm is unmatched, but the truth is, this doesn't seem to be enough for his channel. For Presley's growing channel, it is vital to maintain a certain level of viewer engagement and passion and he is more than successful at it. The comments under his videos and likes and views on his content is proof of his prosperity, however if we look closer, his progress still falls way behind other big names in the community. After having joined YouTube as a Roblox player in 2016, Presley has done remarkably well in terms of gaining subscribers and viewership. He currently stands at 35 million overall views and earnings that stands at thousands of dollars per month. Surprisingly, most of his subscribers from at the 348k mark we've mentioned above were earned in 2020 only. This bears witness to Presley's commitment and devotion to the channel, but what is it that instantly demotivated him? It is competition from others in the business. Bigger names such as Flamingo, It's Funny, Leah Ash, and Dennis are some notable names in the community. These individuals have been a part of the community for far longer and have an outreach greater than Presley. They are arguably the Adopt Me Giants who could not be overtaken. They have established a name that doesn't require any introduction, which is a huge threat to up-and-coming creators such as Presley. The aforementioned creators produce content that diverts viewers' attention to their channels, leaving others desperately waiting for viewership. Not only has the competition grown fears, but it has also sabotaged a potential growing space for new content creators. In such an environment, it only seems safe for Presley to quit the platform totally and find room for growth elsewhere. Gaming Market Presley is still a teenager who has opened all available options before him. The gaming market is uncontrollable with the income of newer and better games by the minute. Roblox itself is one container in this market. This platform has opened itself to everything. It welcomes creators and players from around the world and gives them the freedom to do anything they like, even create games for Roblox. This feature has helped Roblox grow in popularity without the fear of ever running out of games that players will want to play. It has an array of games in every possible category that could exist. While Adopt Me is a famous game on Roblox, it is not alone in this race. There is an uncountable number of other games that are quickly making pace with Adopt Me and reaching to its level of favorites and plays. All of this is because of what they have to offer the player, and Presley seems to have fallen prey to this. He is now exploring options to divert the focus of his channel elsewhere. This would not only help him gain a different audience and keep competition from the Roblox YouTube's biggest fishes at bay, it is a truly viable option for Presley to go on ahead and seek room within a new niche that could exclusively be known as his discovery. As a young YouTuber, he has room for mistakes, and he must totally make full use of them. We say this because having put his heart and mind into a new gig with the same zeal he does today will definitely help him reach new heights of success. Monotony Just like every other good thing in this world, Presley's career with Adopt Me seems destined to come to an end. When you spend an insane amount of time being absorbed in one thing, 
it is only with time that you grow weary of it, such as the case with Presley and his association with Adopt Me. Over the past four years, he has spent every day playing this game and is now bored with it. He found an unusual monotony in his daily routine, which, after some time, would definitely have someone go frustrated. Since he grew bored of continuously playing Adopt Me, he is looking forward to exploring more gaming options that would also help him build a career on YouTube. As mentioned before, there are a lot of opportunities to grow given the vast gaming market, and it will definitely be a mistake for someone like Presley to not avail this space. Social media platforms are currently the most profiting avenues for anyone aspiring to develop a business, and YouTube itself is a business that only needs the idea to prosper. For Presley to find a space and work on it with other games looks promising. This way he wouldn't feel the monotony and grow into something interesting. I'm gonna trade all of my alt accounts one egg. So all of my alt accounts have their Aussie eggs out, and so now I need to invite all of my alt accounts- Glitches. Just like scammers, glitches on Roblox are a long existing problem that the developers are failing to tackle. Not only have glitches hindered the game progress, but also interrupt gameplay, and this is not the most ideal situation to be in for a Roblox YouTuber and streamer. Glitches in Adopt Me have often resulted in players losing Robux in the shape of unsuccessful purchases and not receiving pets in their inventory. Many Roblox YouTubers have continuously grown victims of this and as a result have decided to quit Roblox. Similarly, Presley is now agitated and annoyed at the core of this problem. For a full-time Roblox YouTuber, his channel progress practically depends on the quality of content he posts, and if he records videos that lag and are not in continuity, there is a good chance he will lose viewership. There is no way Presley could ever risk being in such a situation, hence, quitting the platform seems like the only safe option. Challenging Roblox Adopt Me is known for constantly updating their game and user interface. As for the developers, this maintains user intrigue and interest in the game, but unfortunately, they have gotten it wrong. They plan to have fixed bugs and glitches, but the actual game proves otherwise. It is right when players grow accustomed to the previous update, the interface changes once again, resulting in unnecessary challenging situations for the users. Not only is this a vulnerable situation for existing Adopt Me players, there is a good chance the developers are steering away new players because of this. Well, Presley is the point of concern right now, and he is sure absolutely irritated by this. As a YouTuber, he spent significant hours of his day playing Adopt Me and recording videos for his channel, and he was able to previously repeat this process effortlessly because the game wasn't susceptible to constant changing. Regular updates make it difficult for Presley to grow habitual and work his way through the interface without wasting any time. Such a scenario creates an unnecessary lag in his videos, and it is not the most ideal situation for his channel that seeks to keep his viewers involved. He barely got any of it. Hackers We shouldn't even get Presley to get started about this problem. He would go on and on about this for hours because it is one grave situation. While Roblox is largely successful in attracting users to its platform, it is similarly failing them the same way. The platform might have an uncountable number of gaming opportunities up for grabs for all its users, but it still ignores issues such as glitches, scammers, and most important of all, hackers. Just as the first two, hackers are proving to seriously be an obstruction on the path to growth for many players. As a teenager himself, Presley has often fallen prey to such cases where he lost a considerable amount of earnings and items. And it didn't just stop there. He has almost taken the bait a few times until he decided to do otherwise after some research and saved himself from the demise that awaited him. The point of concern is, the number doesn't seem to diminish, instead, the cases are growing exponentially making the platform grow insecure for everyone who uses it. Especially children and teenagers who are unaware of the gravity of the situation and remain vulnerable. Over 60% of Roblox's overall audience are youngsters and this has only helped hackers grow successful in their schemes. Presley could not help but quit Adopt Me for the same reason. With every increasing day, the chances of him falling prey to anything as such increase, and for someone who manages a growing YouTube channel, this is not ideal. Although his decision was gutsy, it seemed like the correct move given the avenue Roblox Adopt Me was growing towards. Oh, maybe I don't know it. Disrespect. Having spent over four years for the same cause can grow tiring for anyone, and such is the case with Presley. With so many Roblox users, the number of cases of disrespect and rude behavior has often been reported with no follow-up to handle the situation. Roblox was designed to cater to young audiences, and it seems to be largely failing at it given the number of users who only make it to the chat box to behave inappropriately. Not only has this begun to be a cause of concern for parents, but it is also one for Presley too. As a YouTuber, he might be accustomed to receiving hate on his channel, but the insane amount of unsuitable and inappropriate words and behaviors is in no way acceptable. It has only made Presley grow discontent with what he is achieving through Roblox, and his decision seems to be well thought now. He doesn't appreciate any growth that involves the use of inappropriacy. With such concerning issues with Roblox Adopt Me at hand, it seems like a miracle that the game is still reaching new heights of success. Regardless, it is in no way acceptable for Presley hence his robust decision. 
if we have such creators dominating the world of social media, we can definitely look forward to a better future for upcoming generations. Although this list was full of tears and broke our hearts, the reason give us hope that Presley will be back with the same zeal and continue to receive love and appreciation from us. We will not let you down, Presley. Hopefully we get a legendary in this next five eggs. Let's go. Come on, what's this one? Oh, another one of the ones that I can't pronounce. You know, the Dinochus. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.